the gang we're going after. He's already flipped. He told us how they sent him out to snoop around because they'd heard about and were interested in our bait. Oh, and under what circumstances did he give up this information? Huh? Why do you ask? Is that important? Of course! If he keeps silent, then there's definitely a connection. But if he gets suddenly angry, then perhaps you misread the situation. Or perhaps you're completely right. If he keeps saying, I can't say, it means there are conditions you have to meet before he'll talk. A gang member capable of hollow exploration like this is certainly no amateur. If he won't spill everything out of desperation, you should be very skeptical about anything he says. Huh, you're so knowledgeable! But the interrogation was carried out by the 11th Precinct, so we only have access to the written report. There's no way of knowing the specifics of the interrogation. And there's something else that's troublesome. If this guy doesn't report back to his gang, it might expose our trap. So, to avoid that possibility, the Precinct decided to immediately use him in a sting to catch the rest of his gang. They asked him to leak info to his gang, saying that the Ether resources are legit, and the gangs decided to make a move on it. Ah, uh, meow. Something about this operation still seems fishy to me. I'll just have to bite my tail and go with the flow for now. That's everything that happened. According to that gang member, the gang tends to use a pretty large group for the robbery. There's a small team of three to four individuals assigned to handle the transportation and disposal of the stolen goods once the job is done. Ollie's mission this time is to lead a small team along with a defected gang member and capture those involved in fencing the stolen goods. They'll head to the Hollow in a little while to carry out the mission. Ollie's leading a team into the hollow? Is he going to be okay if he runs into ethereals? He says he's been training in a simulator ever since we got out last time. And this time he's got a team with him, so it should be okay. I've already talked to him. This time we're gonna follow him at a distance and play things by ear. If he needs our help with anything, he'll find a way to message us in secret. Ready and waiting. Reporting in, Officer Ollie. Our team and the main force at the resource point are all in position. Operation Watch and Wait is ready to go. Over. Roger that. All right, Alberto. You're our informant, so it's time for you to take the stage. Yeah, give your boss a call. Y yes, sir. Uh, hello? Yeah, boss, it's me. 
Alberto. Glad you still remember who's boss. My patience was seconds away from wearing thin after not hearing from you in so long. Sorry, boss. I had a problem with my carrot, and only just got it fixed. B but it's all sorted now. Right, you better not mess this up. I've got the location that you sent over. Is it the right place? Don't worry. I got the scoop when I was out gathering intel last time. All right. We're gonna get the goods now. You go meet up with the vehicles. Out. I did everything you said, sir. O okay. <laughs> uh, next, you'll take us to the ones responsible for selling the stolen goods. Proxy, Ali's group is about to get moving. We should get going, too. Master, please remotely assist Ali in reaching his destination. I have updated your system with Ali's location. Click. Their path out is worse than an iron gate. Detected an electrical switch that controls the door. I've marked the location of the switch in your system. It's open! Your virtual assistant is useful after all.
clearance on the comms device. Don't turn to... Oh, we stole them goods, are we?